Hey everyone, welcome to another video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Irit and I'm a watercolor and mixed media artist. If you're not new here, you probably think you clicked the wrong video. Let's simply address the elephant in the room. The gray oil paint elephant. Gray scale oil painting? What is going on? So today's video is kindly sponsored by Evolve. This is my first sponsored video on my channel and not because I haven't been asked in the past. I just never wanted to, but the Evolve program was so intriguing that I really wanted to try. So let's get all those details and full disclosure out of the way so I can tell you all about it. Evolve is an online art program. The Evolve team reached out to me and offered access to the first lessons in their foundations course. I was sent the supplies needed, which all students receive, and asked to create a video detailing my experience. After watching the video, follow the links in the description box for more information, including a short but very interesting free mini course about values in painting. Also, Evolve is kindly offering a $100 discount to the first 10 people that sign up using my code. The foundation course, which includes blocks one to four, you can see on the screen some examples of the class projects, costs $2,000 in one payment, or you can use the payment plan of $199 a month for 12 months. Included in that price are the supplies, a great bonus. Evolve sends you over $1,000 worth of professional grade art supplies for free, including shipping, and those contain pretty much everything you need, but more on that later. Before I get into my own impressions, let me read to you a blurb from their website so you can get an idea of what they offer. Evolve is a proven system to confidently reach artistic mastery. Evolve offers a ground up program to develop these particular skills for artists at every level from beginner to advanced. Evolve's system demystifies the creative process, breaking it down into just three simple moving parts, value, edge, and color. Command over these basic aspects of art will open up a clear path to producing consistent high quality art. The program is built in a straightforward way. Instructional videos that show you exactly, and I do mean exactly, what to do. In addition, you have access to a Facebook group, chat rooms where you can join other students as they do the exercises, additional Q&A sessions and lessons, as well as access to one-on-one -on -one support from their team. You can schedule a call and talk about any problems or challenges you're having with the lessons. So. That is some info about them. Now let's talk about me. As you may know, I paint mainly in watercolors, but I love experimenting with different media. Oils were always intriguing, but also intimidating. As a self-taught artist, I always wondered how it would be to attend art school where you have access to all media and guidance. And so I felt Evolve was as close as I could get to experience art school, living in rural Austria with small kids and a busy schedule and no real possibility to physically attend art classes. Oil paint is a classical medium and I was very intimidated and overwhelmed by all the different paints, mediums and solvents. Watercolors are very straightforward when it comes to actual paint, oils are not, and so I was hoping to learn the basics in an organized fashion that was clear and to the point. Let's start with the supplies. I admit I love shopping for art supplies just as much as the next artist, but when starting with a new medium, it can get confusing, especially if learning online and the products the instructor uses are not available where you are in the world. There's nothing more frustrating than signing up to a course only to discover you need to hunt down different supplies you're not familiar with before you can start working. Evolve sends you a package with all the supplies needed for the first blocks, and I mean all of them. Paint, brushes, and canvases are the obvious ones, but they also include oil to add to the paint, copy paper for tracing, images to trace, photos of the real life images we will be painting, palette paper for setting up the paint, and more. This means you do not have to start printing stuff at home or worrying you missed something. Nothing to stop you from sitting down and actually painting. You will need an easel, a hard surface to stick down the canvas to, and soap to clean your brushes, but that is all. Which leads me to another problem with many online courses. I have been guilty myself in enrolling in a course 
binge watching the content and then not really painting or doing the exercises for whatever reason, lack of focus or just, you know, it's just more fun to watch. <laughs> that may work for some. It certainly is more entertaining than a lot of stuff on TV. But if you actually want to acquire skills, you have to do the work. So with Evolve, after every lesson, there is an assignment. You have to complete it, take a picture, upload it to the platform where an instructor will check it and give you a detailed feedback. Only then can you gain access to the next lesson. This ensure you will not fall through the cracks and actually complete the tasks. As someone who has struggled to focus and actually complete tasks in the past months, I felt I was in need of a structured program that does not let me simply absorb, observe, sorry, <laughs> there was absorbing, but forces me to participate. And that is actually one of the main reasons that I agreed to um, make this video. So let's talk about the actual medium and painting with oils. As I said, oils are completely new to me. I was hesitant to use them because they felt uh, overwhelming, but also because of harmful materials that I didn't feel comfortable working with. Well, to my surprise, there were no uh, solvents involved. When I asked, I was told that they do appear later in the course and serve a purpose, but they are not essential. I completed the exercises and two of the paintings, which you will see in this video, using only paint and linseed oil, and the paint looks beautiful. I actually really enjoyed working with oils. I admit I'm more intrigued now. As a beginner, I was thrilled to see the lessons start from the very beginning. Basic, basic stuff. For an online pro program, they did a great job in minimizing mistakes. One of the two founders, Kevin Murphy, is an experienced painter and illustrator, and he is the instructor in the videos. He shows everything from how to put paint to palette, mix it with the oil, load the paint on the brush, and then on the canvas. Everything is measured and precise. Yes, at this point, there is no room for independence or opinions or doing your thing, which for my rebellious nature is not an easy task. But I decided to put myself in the hands of experts and absorb all I could. We start by putting exact measurements of paint and drops of oils on a palette, then mix them with a palette knife to get a good consistency. The palette is also set up in an intentional and organized manner, creating good habits right from the get-go. This is what I learned in med school. This is spoon feeding, but I think at this stage, when you have no idea what you're doing, it's a really, really comforting experience. We only use four grays in the first blocks, extreme shadow, moderate shadow, moderate light, and extreme light. Everything has a place and there is an order to what goes where and when during the process. As a super messy person, this was actually great and helped me focus. Block one of the foundations course focuses on value and form. The first exercise is simply filling squares with paint. It's on learning how the paint behaves, applying it smoothly on the canvas without any canvas speaking through, learning to control the brush and creating sharp, accurate edges and corners. The second exercise uses all those skills, but we learn how to create smooth gradients, much harder than I thought. After completing one page of gradients, I submitted it for feedback and then repeated the exercise with small adjustments and gradual improvement. Then came the cubes, again, simply filling in shapes with blocks of shadow and light, but there was so much more to it. This lesson had some great information and guidance to seeing value, shadow and light and making choices on which colors to use. The last exercise I completed was the sphere, which also incorporated smooth gradients. All these exercises require focus and meticulous work. Not my usual cup of tea at all, and yet it was relaxing most of the time and very satisfying when completed. If you head on over to their website, you can see some more images of the more advanced exercises. I have to admit, though, that while I always try to find shortcuts, loopholes, etc., 
I saw the logic and reasoning behind almost everything I was shown. The focus on value, edges, shadows, light, and gradients made perfect sense to me, even as an intuitive watercolor painter. I know these skills are essential for creating success successful paintings, and so I wasn't surprised, but actually thrilled to see that was the focus. I didn't know how I would feel working in grayscale as someone who feeds off color. I was pleasantly surprised and I think it makes a lot of sense. Using grayscale allows focus on paint application, brush control, value, shadow, light without feeling overwhelmed. I actually felt so happy to know that I only needed to complete these first three canvases, one with squares of grays and two with the gradients. And that was it. Everything that comes after that is actually painting. Yes, tracing and then eventually sketching yourself, but no more boring exercises. The school's program is about realistic painting in oils, starting from photos and then moving on to real life setups. While I didn't have time to participate in some of the other offerings at Evolve, such as chat rooms and live Q and A's, I did have a one-on-one -on -one chat with one of the instructors, Piper, who was lovely and extremely helpful. I did get the feeling they wanted you to succeed. As for me, if I had the budget and the time, even though I'm not currently interested in realistic painting and oils, I admit I would 100% join the program. I do believe the skills taught can be applied to other styles, including more abstract and intuitive painting. The medium of oils allows for more freedom and control than watercolors, in my opinion. I love watercolors. You know I do. I still do. But there is always the struggle of creating depth and interest without overworking, which is the case of death when it comes to loose painting in watercolors. There's something about the look of oil paintings that I love. I feel it is richer and just more interesting than acrylics, which I have used in the past and mostly fallen out of love with. Evolve is not about style, it is about skill and observation. I am beyond curious to see how they teach to use and mix color for light and shadow. Um, as for me, my reality is that I have a busy schedule, a job, kids, and soon the summer vacation is upon us. I will, however, consider joining the program as a paying customer when my kids' school starts again in September and I can dedicate the time to it. This is a good time to mention the flexibility Evolve offers for completing the curriculum. While they do encourage students to complete the program within a year, they are aware of, you know, life circumstances and let people take as much time as they need to finish the entire curriculum. They have two main sections, the foundations course, which they say can be completed within a year when you dedicate roughly 10 hours a week to it. After that, there is the advanced part, Parch, part, which sounds a lot more interesting. I'll read you from the website. Advanced techniques broaden your artistic vocabulary, allowing quicker, more intuitive, and stylized approaches to be developed. Uh, that is music to my intuitive, impatient ears. For me personally, I do fear that the parts focusing on setting up a still life and working on painting detail, realistic objects may feel unnecessary or that I wouldn't be motivated to invest the time in them since my style is pretty much the opposite. But I really cannot say for sure until I try. It is quite encouraging to see the paintings in the basic lessons come together and know that I painted them. I can attest that the exercises are quite time consuming and cannot be rushed. I needed a couple of hours to complete each exercise and that was challenging at times since many days I do not have hours of uninterrupted time. The paint does remain workable at least on the palette for a long time and you can stretch that time using clove oil instead of some of the linseed oil. Both come in the kit by the way. So it is very possible to leave your painting and come back later that day depending of course on the weather and humidity conditions in your environment. The paint on the canvas though may dry and creating gradients which is one of the main skills uh, at the beginning will become challenging or impossible once the paint on your canvas starts drying. 
All these things need to be taken into account when you sign up for this or sit down and start working. It takes time and I did have some challenging moments doing those gradients, but overall I really enjoyed myself and felt like I learned so much in actually a very short time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check the links in the video's description for more information. And if you are interested in joining Evolve, now is a great time because if you're quick, the first 10 people to enroll using my link will receive $100 off. Take care and I will see you soon in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.